Hello guys, this is Marina from Athens, uh, Greece. Thank you for visiting my channel. Today I would like to um, talk to you about my Pachycereus Brindley cactus. I, I salvaged uh, this uh, cactus. It was uh, living in um, very unfavorable conditions in a uh, uh, in a Greek uh, nursery, uh, you can see that uh, it has uh, uh, scars on uh, the neck uh, of the cactus, and you can see that it is very narrow there. So, I was thinking about um, ways to save this cactus, and I decided to get it. Um, although I mentioned uh, to the nursery guy that uh, his cacti were not uh, being uh, properly taken care of. Um, uh, to tell you some things about this cactus, basic things, um, this is called um, um, Mexican giant, ca uh, giant uh, cardon cactus, or um, uh, the proper uh, Latin name, botanical name, is uh, Pachycereus brindley. Um, it uh, it is uh, uh, there is a specimen that is the tallest uh, uh, cactus in the world, and it belongs to this species. Uh, it can get uh, up to 10 met meters high, although uh, there is a cactus that had reached 18 meters high. Um, it's a cactus that uh, um, in its habitat can, be, can weigh tons uh, and it branches as it matures and the stems uh, are also very heavy. Um, it uh, produces uh, uh, white um, white flowers that are nocturnal and uh, it also produces fruit um, uh, I was thinking about uh, ways to solve uh, the the narrow uh, neck uh, problem so that is it is more aesthetically pleasing but also as as it grows it can have um, more stability and I was thinking that I could uh, either restart it, cut, cut it, uh, cut, let it callus and restart or I could just um, uh, maybe put it uh, in a, a deeper uh, but I'm afraid that um, the neck is gonna rot if it's uh, um, in a deeper soil so i was thinking of um, putting it in a, a larger pot for starters i have also i have already reported it but you can see that it's already out growing uh, its pot look how beautiful this is amazing spines amazing spines amazing body uh, so I'm going to report him once again and uh, I'm going to just plant him a little deeper but with gravel and not uh, maybe cut litter that it uh, doesn't hold hold moisture uh, so uh, I won't risk um, a, a neck rot. And so, what else do I have to tell you about this? He's doing fine. He's very beautiful. He was very pale when I first got him, and very thin. You can see that he's already getting wider. You can hear my <laughs> little doggy, my looping, which is actually. Uh, the biggest uh, in size he's barking he wants to get outside um, I will uh, 
let him get outside after I finish this video because he's <laughs> so naughty <laughs> um that's all for today guys i hope you enjoyed seeing my mexican guy at cardon which is still a juvenile and uh, thank you for visiting sending you much love positivity from greece guys love you bye